It all began with a patch of forgotten ground behind the old shed, compacted, pale, and lifeless. Water pooled in sad puddles when it rained, and in summer, the soil baked hard as concrete. Only a few stubborn weeds survived in this dead soil. But I saw an opportunity for a simple experiment. I marked out two small plots, one for homemade compost, the other for wood ash from our winter fires. My goal was to see, firsthand, how each would change this tired earth. Compost brings slow, biological magic. Wood ash, a fast chemical reaction. Over the weeks, the compost bed darkened, held water better, and welcomed earthworms. The wood ash bed changed more subtly, its texture stubbornly the same. This real-world trial taught me more than any book could. You don't need a big garden or fancy tools just curiosity and a patch of ground. We'll explore what compost and wood ash really do, how to use them, and how you can run your own experiment. If you want to understand the why behind the how in gardening, you're in the right place. Let's turn that lifeless patch into a thriving bed. Together. Stick with me, and let's get growing. Faced with poor soil, gardeners often debate. Compost or wood ash? They're both valuable, but for different jobs, like comparing a hammer to a screwdriver. Compost is a complete meal for your soil, made from decomposed organic matter. It adds life, structure, and long-term fertility. Wood ash is a potent supplement, rich in potassium and calcium, and highly alkaline. It's best for acidic soils needing a quick pH boost, but risky if your soil is already alkaline. Compost feeds the soil's biology. Wood ash alters its chemistry. Most gardens benefit more from compost, while wood ash is a specialist tool. Use each wisely based on your soil's needs. Let's dive into when and how to use them for the best results. Compost is the heart of a healthy garden, black gold. It improves soil biology, structure, and nutrition all at once. Adding compost means feeding the soil's living community, billions of microorganisms and earthworms. These creatures break down organic matter, release nutrients, and protect plants from disease. Earthworms create channels for air and water, and their castings are natural fertilizer. Compost transforms heavy clay and sandy soils alike, creating a perfect, crumbly texture. It acts like a sponge in clay, improving drainage, and helps sandy soil retain moisture. Nutritionally, compost offers a slow, steady release of essential elements. No boom and bust cycles. It's a balanced diet for your plants, building resilience and long-term fertility. Unlike synthetic fertilizers, compost sustains healthy growth season after season. The result? Thriving plants and living soil. That's the real magic of compost. Wood ash is the garden's chemical powerhouse, useful but demanding respect. It's what's left after burning clean, untreated wood rich in potassium, calcium, and trace minerals. Wood ash is highly alkaline, acting like garden lime to raise soil pH. It's great for acidic soils and potassium-hungry crops like tomatoes and potatoes, but add it to already alkaline soil and you risk nutrient lockout and stunted growth. Always know your soil's pH before using wood ash. Only use ash from clean wood, never coal, treated timber, or painted materials. Used correctly, wood ash can be a valuable ally, but it's a tool for specific problems, not a general fix. To compare compost and wood ash, I set up three identical raised beds with poor subsoil. Bed one got a generous layer of compost. Bed two received a light dusting of wood ash. Bed 3 combined both compost and ash. I monitored each bed's pH, texture, and signs of life. All three beds were planted with radishes. Their growth would reveal the true impact. This simple setup let me see, side by side, how each amendment changed the soil. The experiment ran for one growing season, from spring to late summer. Anyone can try this at home. Just observe, compare, and learn. The results were eye-opening. Safety first with wood ash. It's potent and must be handled with care. Only use ash from clean untreated wood, never coal treated or painted materials. 
Wear gloves and a dust mask when handling ash to protect your skin and lungs. Apply on a calm day to avoid airborne dust. Less is more. A small handful per square meter sprinkled evenly is plenty. Rake it gently into the soil. Never leave clumps. Always test your soil's pH before adding ash. If it's above 6.5, skip the ash. Wood ash is for correcting acidic soil, not as a general fertilizer. Knowledge and caution make all the difference. As the season progressed, the three beds told their stories. The compost-only bed transformed, dark, crumbly, full of earthworms, and sweet-smelling. Water soaked in easily, and the radishes grew plump and healthy. The wood ash-only bed stayed pale and compacted, with few worms and slow yellowing radishes. Its chemistry changed, but the soil life didn't return. The compost and ash bed was a middle ground improved structure, some worms, and decent radish growth. The compost buffered the ash's harshness, but didn't match the pure compost bed's vitality. By harvest, the difference was clear. Compost alone produced the best crop. The combination was good, but not great. Ash alone failed to revive the soil. The lesson biology matters more than chemistry. Compost is the true champion for soil health. The results highlight a key principle. Living soil trumps chemical tweaks. The compost-only bed thrived because it built a living ecosystem, microbes, worms, and structure. The wood ash-only bed failed. It changed pH but ignored biology, locking up nutrients and starving plants. The compost and ash bed did better as compost buffered the ash's effects, but the initial chemical shock slowed soil life. Healthy soil needs life, not just minerals. Build biology first with compost. Use ash only if a soil test shows a real need. Feed the soil, not just the plant. That's the secret to a thriving garden. Here are four rules for better soil. First, always prioritize compost. Make it, buy it, use it generously. Second, test your soil's pH before adding wood ash. Third, use ash only as a targeted supplement for acidic, potassium-hungry crops. Fourth, always use clean wood ash and protect yourself when handling it. Common mistakes, using ash everywhere, applying it too thickly, or being impatient for results. Improvement takes time. Be consistent with organic matter. Wood ash is safe for vegetables if your soil needs it, and the ash is clean. It can replace lime, but use about twice as much by volume. Never use ash around acid-loving plants like blueberries or azaleas. Try your own experiment. Compare amendments, observe, and learn. Share your results with others. Gardening is a journey of discovery. The earth is the best teacher. Get your hands dirty and keep growing. Happy gardening!